All right, welcome to our certification Q&A. This is gonna be an informal conversation today between me and you as you're considering joining us in the Sunday Basket certification and or going even deeper into all paper certification. I'm gonna have a couple slides. So if you're watching from Facebook and Instagram, you're not gonna see the slides. They're not that big of a deal. Uh, most of it is just gonna be direct to camera um, teaching. Also, I'm going to be answering questions from people who signed up for the certification masterclass and are actually on the Zoom webinar with me. Submit your questions by putting them in the chat for all panelists and attendees so Monique Orb can see them. Monique is on here with me and she will be monitoring the chat, pulling all those questions off at the end because I cannot talk and read at the same time. The other way you can submit your questions is there's a Q&A feature inside of the Zoom webinar and you could just click on the Q&A, ask the question, it'll go in a queue, I will answer that later. If you're watching this on Instagram or if you're watching this on Facebook, if you're watching it on Facebook, I want you to email your questions to mhorb, M-H-O-R-B at organize365.com. That's Monique, she will answer those for you. If you're asking me on Instagram, you can send a direct message or in my story, I have a question sticker. You can go back and ask that question and I will be answering those later today on Instagram stories tonight. All right, with that, we are going to get started. Um, so now how do I, so many things open. I don't know how to move things around on here. Hold on one second. Um, all right, next slide. Next slide, people. So if you do not know who I am, I am Lisa Woodruff. I am the founder and CEO of Organize 365. Organize 365 is a company that's headquartered here in Westchester, Ohio, and it will be nine years old on January 1st. <laughs> that year, 2012, I was getting ready to turn 40. I was ready to start my own business. I named it Organize 365 because I knew I wanted to talk about organizing for the rest of my life, but I had no idea how I was going to monetize that or turn it into a business. And over the last nine years, we've gone through three distinct iterations of the company. The first three years, I was an in-home professional organizer and blogger, and I really learned what the female head of household was dealing with inside of her home in all different ages and phases in her life. The second three years of the website and the company Organize 365, I took those things I had learned in the field. We continued to organize in the field for three more years. I started a podcast and we started to create an online course called the 100 Day Home Organization Program Now. And I kept tossing out this idea of the Sunday basket. I just kept throwing it in there, but didn't realize the Sunday basket was the thing that was making everything else work. Then three years ago, in the fall of 2017, I went on a couple of expensive courses and mastermind events, and I really created the company that you see now today. I hired seven people in seven weeks in the fall of 2017. I met my uh, publisher and my book agent, and I created the mission, vision, and values of Organize 365. And I went to look at the mission, vision, and values of Organize 365 for the next three year iteration and I made no changes. Like what I set out to do three years ago was take a company that was just me with a podcast and one course and really create the physical products that we would need in order for any female head of the household anywhere in the world to achieve the same transformation that I have achieved, which is an organized house with more time than I know what to do with so I can go out and do what I'm uniquely created to do, which is create Organize 365. And in the last three years, these seven people that I hired in 2017 were able to take all of these ideas out of my head and we have literally created and manufactured all of them. So the Sunday basket, all eight work boxes, all seven binders, some products you're going to see in November. They were just ideas in my head. The only physical product that I had in 2017 is I had the very first Sunday basket on order and I was selling just what I'll call the 1.0s here in a minute, um, the rainbow slash pockets for a $30 Zoom workshop. That's, that's the only physical products I had in 2017. And now we have a complete paper organization line. So that's a little bit about me. In uh, the podcast, Organize 365 just turned six, and we're just about to hit nine million downloads. Organize 365, the podcast, is in the top 25 of self-help podcasts on iTunes, and I love sharing stories on the podcast each week. If you haven't started listening to the podcast and you like this live or you like this webinar, then I think you will like the podcast. I actually have three podcasts 
And on the Organized 365 podcast, I have three episodes because I really like talking. So my three podcasts are the Organized 365 podcast, which has three episodes, a customer story on Wednesday, a throwback podcast over the last six years on Thursday that is timing relevant, and a new thought leadership podcast on Friday. The other two podcasts that I have are the Professional Organizers Think Tank podcast, which was created in 2015, which are the podcast episodes that I would have you listen to if you want to be a professional organizer. I literally <laughs> pull back the coat and I tell you everything about how I created my professional organization business. I don't hide anything. The other podcast that only has one episode now is called the Sunday Basket Podcast. And that's where you can go and listen to what is the Sunday Basket and how do you create a Sunday Basket. And then once you buy the Sunday Basket system and you're inside of the program, then you get eight more podcasts that take you step by step by step through how to make your podcast. Not how to make your podcast, how to make your Sunday Basket. So I'm going to turn off the slide sharing if I could do that. How do I do that? Hold on one Stop sharing. Ah, there we go. Now you can see me. Those of you that are on the uh, master class can now see me. So that's where we are today. Organized 365 is almost nine years old. We also started that certification program three years ago when I created the Sunday Basket. So why did I create a direct? Uh, not a, why did I create a certification program? And why did I decide that the Sunday Basket was the product that everybody needed? Well, I originally started using the Sunday Basket myself 18 years ago when my kids were six months old and two years old, and I couldn't get anything done. I thought I was a stay-at-home mom, but really I was a working from home mom who was pretending to be a stay-at-home mom. And the thing that I couldn't get done was anything of productive value. I actually could keep my house clean and organized because I could do that with babies next to me, but I couldn't pay bills and I couldn't do other things like that with the little kids around me and papers. They would grab them, they would crumple them, you get the idea. So the Sunday basket was something that I created on a Sunday night when everyone was asleep. And I'm sure you have already heard that story. So I'm not gonna go into that one in detail right now, but that's how I created the Sunday basket. What happened over the next year is I got my house and I got my life in order, but I also created more baskets in my own personal life. So the next thing I did after I had the Sunday basket working was I hired a nanny from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every Wednesday, and that became my workday. So I was a stay-at-home mom six days a week, and I was a working woman one day a week, and it was on Wednesday, and I just worked in my basement. I didn't even leave the home. But I created a second basket where I put all of my direct sales stuff and then anything that could wait until Wednesday, wait until Wednesday. After I spent those, about a month of doing those 10 hour long workdays on Wednesday, I had generated so much more work inside of my business, so much more dollars and parties inside of my direct sales business, I had more work than I could do on Wednesday and I created a third basket and that one was for the new assistant that I just hired. So I would work all day on Thursdays and I would assemble a basket for her on Thursdays and she would come over to my house at 9 a.m. and I'd have my kids upstairs and she'd go down in the basement and she would work on anything related to my direct sales business that I could hand off to her for five hours a week. So my Sunday basket story starts with me being able to get done what I need to get done inside of my household. But within six months, my business doubled in sales and then I created a direct sales work box for myself, and then I created an assistant box for myself. And then I happily did that for the next, I don't know, 10 years, while my kids went into grade school and everything went just fine. Until 2011, when life got moving too fast, ran me over again, and I found myself at home in my kitchen in January of 2012 saying, I'm gonna start my own business about organizing. How do I get organized again? And just like 18 years prior, I found myself once again with an overwhelming amount of papers, actionable to-dos, a house I didn't recognize with, as unorganized as I've ever been in my life. What I now know to be true is that this happens on a regular basis for women. It happens about every 10 years. You change jobs, you change houses, your kids change ages, you just, you change, you grow, you develop, your mindset changes, your life experience adds to what you already have in your life experience and you change, even if you live in the same house as I've lived in the same house for over 25 years. And during these times, Every single time I've had to get my Sunday basket going so I can get a handle on all of the actionable to-dos that I'm doing in my life. And then I get my house organized and then I get whatever businesses or passion projects I have organized after that. Now, 
back 18 years ago, when I created this Sunday basket for myself, I didn't really share it with anyone because I did not realize that was a thing or that that was the reason why I was so productive. Now, I was a creative memories representative and I was selling scrapbooks and I was selling a lot of scrapbooks. I was earning the trips. I've made over a hundred of my own albums. I was doing albums for people. I was doing shows. I was doing only one show a month. And then I was doing these workshops and my workshops were full and they were fun. And they were the first Friday of the month that people would come over into my basement. I had all these tables set up down there. We had music, we had snacks, and I had women that would come every single month to my workshops. And then once a year, we would go away to a cabin in the winter and we would do a winter wonderland retreat and we'd be gone for three days and we would scrapbook the whole time. I loved my creative memories experience so much. One, for the people that I did business with, with my fellow consultants, and then also for the team that I had developed, and then also for the customers who were buying from me. That experience of doing life together and being in that community and having a regular time every month to work on your scrapbooks as a community in a fun relationship was a lot for me. I mean, my kids were young and I had friends that were their kids' parents were also my friends, but I didn't have a lot of my friends. All of my friends were the people that I scrapbooked with. Like that's when I had my girls night out and that's what we called it. So when I was creating Organize 365 and I finally realized that the Sunday basket was the thing that was helping everyone get organized, I knew from the very beginning, before I even ordered the slash pockets or started manufacturing the box, and Monique knows because she signed up, I literally signed people up into the certification program before we even had a physical product to sell because I knew from my creative memories experience and from my teaching experience, two things. One, Doing things in community is always easier and always more fun. And two, that people learn differently. So you may have never heard this. This is true when you're selling something and this is true when you're doing anything. There are three kinds of learners. There are the DIY people. The people who will listen to my podcast, they will make their own Sunday basket. They'll attribute it to me, but they'll never buy my products ever and never give me any money. Totally fine. That's probably 50% of the people can listen and do it on their own. Then there are the do it for me people, and that's who service industries usually try to target, like people who will hire a professional organizer to come and completely organize their house for them, or they will literally have you come in as clients did for me and had me organize all of their filing cabinets and they weren't even there, I just organized them for me. That's the do it for me crowd. It's usually a very high dollar item. Uh, it costs a lot, it costs a lot of time, it costs a lot of money, it's very individualized, it's really hard to scale, and frankly, very few people can afford it. And then there is this subset that is almost always overlooked, that is about, I think, 20 to 40% of the population, and it is the do it with me crowd. So if you're going to do it yourself, you're going to listen to the podcast, do it on your own, you really don't need that interaction. Or if you're going to pay to have it done, you really, again, don't need that interaction. But it's this group of people who are like, okay, that Sunday basket thing works for me. And I even probably could do it on my own, but I'd rather do it with people. I'd rather have Lisa's system. It's only $97. And I get in the Sunday basket club and I could do all these things for $97. I'd rather do it with the professional organizers, with the team, be in the Facebook group and do it with people. But in that do it with me crowd, there is a portion that needs the do it for me service on top of that. Like, okay, I'll do all of my papers, but I would like you to do my kids' school binders. Or I will do all of my papers uh, with you, but I really want to do it one-on-one -on -one or in a really small group because I want to get my questions answered real time. Or I just found out that my kid got diagnosed with autism and I don't know what to do. Like, I understand I could do this with people online, but I need more emotional support. I need you to slow it down. I need you to walk me through it. I need you to keep me going. I need you to hold my hand. I need you to tell me it's going to be okay. And I need that in a one-on-one -on -one or really small group format. And so that's why I created a certification program. Not because the product isn't good enough on its own or I could sell it on my own. I totally can. And I am. And it's totally working well. I did it because I want to do it in community. Like I do it with my Organized 365 team and I do it with my customers, but I also want to do it with you. Like I want to do it with those of you that love Organize 365 so much and you don't live in Westchester, Ohio. So you're not going to work for Organize 365 and you're not uh, looking for another job, but you believe in the mission, vision, and values of Organize 365 too. And you want to be the boots on the ground representative of Organize 365 in your community and for your family and friends has nothing to do with earning money. I mean, you can earn money or not earn money, but you don't have to. Now, I want to tell you, 
this certification is not a direct sales program and is not a franchise. So what would those two mean? A direct sales program would give like new products and incentive programs and business in a box and, and all that. That is not what this is. And it's also not a franchise. You're not signing up and you're going to get this region and this is your territory and you get to develop it and mine it for contacts and we're going to guard that for you. It's not either of those. It's a license. And you don't hear about a license very often because a license is frankly, the hardest kind of association you can have with a company. Microsoft offers a license for certified dealers to resell Microsoft. That's a license. There are very few examples that you're going to find. So if it's not a direct sales and it's not a franchise, why would you partner with Organize 365 and what does a license look like? I'm about to go into the slides to show you the details. But before I do that, I want to tell you who this is for and who this is not for. So this is for you if you already have a business and you want to add this on as like a little extra thing that you're going to grow in your business, or you've already started with your own business model and you're going to use this as uh, a confidence builder for something you're going to go grow in your own business. This is for you if you want to align with the Organized 365 brand, you think it's fun, and you just want to be a local representative of that in your area. It is not for you if you think that Organize 365 is going to give you leads and you're going to make $10,000 a month and that you're looking for an income producing opportunity. Most certified organizers do get that result from joining the certification program, but it is not a promise that I make and it is not something that I think is... Um, I, I just don't want you to sign up because you're going to lose out if you don't get these leads from Organize 365. One of the companies after I started my certification program that I looked at and I thought, you know what, that's kind of what we're doing here is the Dave Ramsey model of um, endorsed local providers. So Dave Ramsey has his baby steps. He has his get out of debt program. He has his envelope system. He has financial peace. And then if you're looking for a lawyer or a realtor or a financial planner, he has endorsed local providers that are in your area that understand the Dave Ramsey way. That's kind of what it is. People are emailing us on the regular saying, who in my city listens to your podcast, understands the 100 day program, understands the Sunday basket, understands the work boxes that can help me with what I'm doing. So this first part of this Q&A and this webinar that we're doing, um, I'm just going to go over the Sunday Basket certification. We have two certifications. One is the Sunday Basket that's just partnering with us to do the Sunday Basket only. Everyone has to do that in order to do the all paper certification. I will talk about the all paper certification after we get all the questions done about this one. So let me share the screen again for those of you that are on the webinar. Okay. <clears throat> So the Sunday Basket Certification was created originally three years ago for three reasons. And the three reasons are, number one, to help my fellow professional organizers. In those first three years when I was doing Organize 365 and I was going in and I was doing in-home organization and the second three years where I was doing in-home organization but my team was doing it for me, I learned a couple of things. I learned that my direct sales background and my ability to go and speak to a group of people so that they could know, like, and trust me before I went in to organize their home got me better leads, uh, leads that wouldn't cancel, and a, a pipeline to sell people to. Here's what I've learned about professional organizers. Professional organizers know how to organize, even if you're not calling yourself a professional yet. If you've either taught yourself how to be organized or you were born organized, you can go in and help people organize their homes. There, I have no doubt about that. But what I find most professional organizers struggle with is the business side. They don't know how to get leads. They don't know how to close the sale. They don't know how to make estimates, those kinds of things. And what I found with the Sunday Basket, when I started doing, I was doing all kinds of workshops. I was doing a workshop on how to organize your car. I did a workshop on how to organize your kitchen supplies. And then I did an, a workshop on how to organize your paper. And I was like, oh, this is the one. It's hard to bring your kitchen supplies to somebody else's house to organize them. But paper, Paper is portable. And if you have a Sunday basket workshop where people come and learn and then they come back and they actually organize their Sunday basket, it does a couple of things. One, it demonstrates you as the expert in paper organizing or organizing in general. Two, it's a low dollar amount entry level introduction to you where they're paying you money, $30 or $100 or whatever for your workshop. You're demonstrating that you could get them organized. They get the Sunday basket done. They go home. Life is easier. They have more time and they go, huh. 
I wonder what else that person can help me organize. Then all of a sudden, it's not like I want you to come give me a consultation for $300, $500, $1,000 to organize my home and I'm picking you off the internet and I have no idea who you are. It's, wow, you got that organized so well. I wonder if you can organize my kid's toy room. I wonder if you can organize my office. I wonder if you can organize this. And that was the original whole, whole purpose of starting the certification program was I had started a lot of organizers in their organization business. Like they were not professional organizers before they heard of Organized 365 and Me, and they had started their professional organization businesses, but they weren't getting as many leads or jobs as I was because they weren't putting themselves out there as a speaker or a workshop trainer where it just became natural. Instead of asking for $1,000, you're saying, hey, do you have $30 in a Saturday morning? We'll do this Sunday basket. And then naturally people will ask you to organize. The reason I know this is because I was already a professional organizer before I started Organize 365. I just didn't know it because from those Friday workshops with Creative Memories, I had been hired to organize multiple people's offices, homes, vacation homes, businesses, files, papers, everything not related to photos, but they knew I was organizationally inclined and I was willing to do whatever it took to keep my kids in private school. And so I'd been organized lots of people's homes. I realized, you know what? The reason why is not because I'm a great organizer. I am, but so are you. The reason why is because I was in community with people doing life and we were already kind of getting organized. They were like, hey, uh, I've got this need. Can you do it? I was like, yeah, I could do it. The second reason that I started the certification program was for the Organized 365 community. Because I know that while we have the DIY people and the people that are going to hire professional organizers, it's these people in the middle that my heart just resonates with as a teacher. Teachers love to teach. I love to teach. And if you are a teacher, you know that the kids who get your lesson like this, that's great. They get A's. That's fine. But the child that you had to work with for weeks to learn whatever skill it was, and then they get it and you see that they get it. Oh, that is so much more rewarding and fulfilling than the kid that came in basically with the knowledge, got the A and moved on. Right? So that is the student. That is you that I really want to get over the finish line. The person that has the drive and the desire and the motivation and they've invested themselves, but they just need a little bit more help in order to be successful. That's who my heart is for. That's why I record so many podcasts, so many lives, so many, whatever people will say during the pandemic, Lisa, I love your lives every morning, even though you're like showing, your fish tank because you're always positive. You're always happy. You're never like all the negative that's going on in the world. I'm always positive. Like that is my job is to be positive, encouraging, and to get your motivation level just a little bit higher so that you don't give up on yourself. And I could do that through this. Like you may be watching this and you're like, yes, that's what Lisa does for me. And if you are thinking about being a certified organizer, organizer, I'm saying to you, that's what I need you to do in your city for the people in your city. Like take it from me and give it to them. Like we need so much more positivity and so much more, especially for female adult women, instruction, grace, love, help, motivation, ideas, encouragement, not here's the bar and you're not meeting it. Here's perfection. And why aren't you there yet? How come this isn't done? I told you to do it yesterday. Like we're hearing that everywhere. We don't, we don't need any more of that. We need a little bit of encouragement and motivation. And let me just tell you, we will rise to the occasion and we will knock your socks off. But I need people who are in individual communities all over the world. You can do the certification program anywhere you want now. You just have to get the product shipped to you wherever you want. I need you to be the in-person representation of Organized 365 in your community for people who are looking for that one-on-one -on -one and small group community interaction that I frankly will never be able to provide. And then the third reason why I started the certification program was because I guess I intuitively knew that we were creating a whole new industry. Paper organization is not a thing. I'm making it a thing because whenever you say to the media, go, go meet anybody on the street and say, Hey, um, I have this solution for paper organization. They will say back to you without even thinking, um, we don't need paper. Paper is digital. Like, like that is, we have been brainwashed to think that there is no paper. We don't need paper. The only problem with paper is we still have it and you just might as well get rid of it all. And I've said, absolutely not. Paper is here to stay, especially for Americans. We must have paper. We don't need all the paper. We less paper, but we still need the paper. And the paper needs to be organized in these ways. And so I am doubling down on that. And after our November launch, we really don't have any new products that are coming out. And even the things that are coming out in November, 
all of them are enhancements. None of them are like a new binder. Like none of them are a brand new way to organize paper. We have figured out how to organize paper. We just now need to get this information out to the masses. So let me tell you how the Sunday Basket certification program is structured. First of all, you need to have your own Sunday Basket. So you need to have already purchased a Sunday Basket and done the Sunday Basket system. Now, if you are a professional organizer, you might say to me, um, Lisa, this Sunday Basket thing is not rocket science. Like I had a system like this that I was kind of doing anyway. Right. Like I, I'm not saying I'm Einstein over here. I understand a lot of people have an inbox. A lot of people understand how to collect things and do them once a week and batch their tests. I'm not saying that, you know, I've created something that no one's ever done before. What I've done is I've taken something that productive organized people do almost kind of naturally, and I've made it so everybody can do it. So everybody can do it. Everyone can learn it. I just found out from our patent lawyer yesterday, we are getting the patent on the Sunday basket. We've been patent pending for three years. Uh, the letter is coming in the mail. We have a patent. We have multiple trademarks. We have over a hundred copyrights on the organized 365 products. Like I have created a system that not only can you do, but it is easily teachable to others because I've systematized the entire project. So first you must have and use a Sunday basket. The second thing you need in order to join us in a certification is you need to have a business entity and you're like, okay, I'm out. No, stop. Do not turn it off. This is not as complicated as it sounds, but remember when I told you that we are a license, we're not a direct sales company and we're not a franchise. We are a license. And as such, a license is a business to business partnership. So Organize 365 is going to partner with whatever your business is. It's not Lisa Woodruff partnering with you personally. It's these two businesses partnering together. And truth be told, Organize 365 does not own any of the intellectual property that it uses, and it does not even own any of these trademarks or copyrights. My original LLC company owns all of those, and Organize 365 is the biggest certified organizer, and it is in a licensing agreement with my original LLC. So you as a business will join with my LLC, which will give you permission to sell the Organize 365 products. I told you, licenses are complicated. So how do you become a business entity? There are a couple of really easy ways to do this. One, you may already have an LLC. An LLC is really easy to create. Actually, we created one for Joey before he got his driver's license. He already has an LLC. If you're going to do any kind of business, it just makes good business sense to have that, to have an LLC. My LLC just has a generic name associated with it. It's not organized 365. So you can create a generic LLC and run all the businesses you ever have in the future under that same LLC. Then with that LLC, you can create an EIN number with your state, which is kind of like a social security number for your business. So it's an employer identification number. It's the same amount of numbers as a social security number. The dash is just in a different place. So your business will get an EIN number. Now you could go that far or you can do what's called a DBA, which is doing business as. And this is what I had before I had an LLC. I just went to my bank. I opened a business checking account in my own name with my own social security number. And then on my checks, it said Lisa Woodruff doing business as whatever thing I was doing at that time. So it would be doing business as Organized 365. So those are the three ways that you can create your um, business so that you could do a business to business partnership with us. And when you have questions about that, you can hop on a phone call with Monique. She will help you. It is not scary. You could do some of these options for free. And then the other thing that you need is a website. Now you don't need a full you know, 100 page website. You can have a simple five page website. You can have a Facebook page. You can have a cutie link. There are various ways that you can have these things, but you have to have something that we can link to in the directory. Like I can't link to, I don't know, a non web entity. So you need to have some kind of a web entity. We do have a program for $500 called Start. So if you're starting your professional organization business, you've been listening to the Professional Organizers Think Tank podcast. We have a Professional Organizers Think Tank Facebook group, which is also free. And you're like, all right, I'm going to go in all in on the professional organization part. If you join Start, it is six videos and a workbook and it's $500. And we'll give you all that legal information in there as well. Um, and then the other thing is, we, we have sold almost 7,000 copies of The Paper Solution, and I have a lot of things in the next three-year Vivid Vision I'm about to share with my company next week about how we're going to grow 
organize 365 in the next three years. When you're not looking to add on more products and we're not gonna go back into doing in-home organization, what is the growth trajectory for the next three years for Organize 365? And it really is in thought leadership. In this, I'm just double downing on this idea that paper's not going away. And as a matter of fact, with the pandemic, minimalism is going to be on the decline. And mark my words, within five years, minimalism will not be a thing we talk about or being a minimalist because people now want to have more stuff again. We're going to move back towards that pendulum of having more. So I'm going to be talking about Organizing paper in the home. Organizing paper at work is something that I'll be focusing on. We'll be coming out with a couple more books over the next years. And we're going to start doing scientifically backed research studies with uh, PhD professors and coming out with the statistics that will be quoted in the media for a paper. So I think that that is... Oh, I didn't tell you how much it was. <laughs> oh no. How do I go back? How do I go back? Um, okay. So to partner with Organize 365 in the certification program is $475, and it is an annual renewable certification. So you pay $475. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, shoot, it's not even up here. Oh, no, it's down in the car. I brought it home from work. I didn't bring it up here. Ugh. Okay, so you get this book. <laughs> I don't even think I have the old one. Where's the old one? No, no. <sighs> Anyways, you get this booklet. And in this booklet, which is down in my car, which I'll flip through on Instagram later, in this booklet, it walks you through how do you do a workshop? How do you do, how do you have your launch party? How, what is the script that you read when you do a workshop? Um, oh boy, that's really bad sales job right there. I'll just tell you. Uh, maybe we'll have Monique call and talk in a minute and I will go down and I will get the workbook so I can show you. So you get a workbook, but you also get all of that inside of the Organized 365 dashboard. So a video and then the text and you follow along in the workbook and it teaches you how to make goals and all the things that you knew, need to do to launch your workshops, whether you do them once a year, once a month, once a week, however you want to do them. So you'll get the online portal with the training videos. You get images that you can use on the website and on um, social media for sharing that you're a certified organizer. You get a logo and then also Sunday basket images that you can share. Uh, there's a private Facebook group for the certified organizers and Monique does once a month a time when they could do co-working time and share all of their marketing ideas. There's a monthly newsletter that Monique puts out. You get wholesale pricing on Sunday baskets and slash pockets. But remember, this is not a get rich scheme. This is not a, you're going to be able to make eight figures when you can partner with Organize 365 in our certification program. I thought about this for a long time. And I've been in 35 direct sales companies. I was a leader in seven. Like, I mean, I understand direct sales, multi-level market. I understand sales. And the truth is in most direct sales company, like 5% of people make money and everyone else either loses money or breaks even. Most people lose money. And so I purposely did not set up my business that way. And there've been two other, <laughs> two other direct sales companies that have tried to capitalize on professional organization. And they're both out of business because the majority of, of income that you earn if you have a professional organization business is from charging people for workshops or professional organization services, not from selling them stuff. Because if you've done the Organized 365 products, you know that when you get organized, you need less stuff, not more stuff. So selling organizers isn't the way to make money. Selling your time and your services is the way to make money. And there was one direct sales company where they would take a percentage of what you earned on leads you generated on your own. I was like, are you crazy? Like, I'm going to go out and get my own business and I'm going to mail you a check. And she was like, yes. I was like, no, <laughs> no, I'm not. And I know, I know that when you become a certified organizer, you're going to get leads from Organize 365 and you're going to make money that I'll never be able to track, nor do I want to, nor do I care. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for them. I don't, I don't need to be in the middle of that. Sorry about Hunter. And then you'll also get listed on the Organize 365 directory. Um, so I don't have my workbook. I, my dog is barking. In case you're wondering if you can do this too, clearly anybody could do this, right? So you're licensed to teach the Sunday Basket Workshop for as long as your certification is active. So it's $475. 
When you renew your license, you can renew it annually for 475. That's how it's automatically going to renew. Or you have the option of renewing it for $49 a month and making that into a monthly payment instead of an annual payment after your first year of certification if you want to, and Monique can do that for you. So you are licensed to teach the Sunday Basket Workshop. There are a few caveats. You cannot teach the Sunday Basket Workshop, record it, and sell the recording. Uh, you can't turn this into a membership site. It needs to be live. You're licensed to represent the Sunday Basket Workshop in a live fashion. Now that could be live on Zoom. That could be live in your private Facebook group. That could be live at a library. That could be live in your house. It could be live at your place of business, wherever you want, but it has to be live. Now the people who are there live, if you record that and you send that to them as a replay, that's fine. But you can't do like this, a webinar where people may or may not show up live and then they get a replay, that's not allowed inside of the certification. Okay, so Monique, let's have you come back online. Are you there, Monique? <laughs> I have like, hello, hello. okay, I'm gonna leave the screen up that shows what's included in the certification okay. for the people who are in the webinar. I don't see any questions in my little question box, but are there questions that have come into the chat? Yes. Okay. Okay, first question. If I order a product as an Organize 365 certified organizer, yeah. how does my client get registered for the online forms and forms? Is it practical to not personally do product fulfillment? Okay, so currently how it's set up is you as a certified organizer, as a licensee, with the LLC, remember just like Organize 3 is, you're getting wholesale pricing. So you get wholesale pricing on the Sunday Basket and on the Slash Pockets. So our su Sunday Basket retails for $48, certified organizers buy that for $30. And then there's a similar deal on the 1.0 and the 2.0 Slash Pockets. And you buy those in packages of 10 1.0s for $100 or five 2.0s for $100. That's the retail pricing on, or the wholesale pricing on our products. You order those and then you deliver those inside of the workshops that you are doing. If, if you're doing it remotely, you need to then order those from Organize 365 and then you mail those off to those people and they have their products. You're an independent business versus Organize 365 independently fulfilling whatever product needs that your customers have. Now, recently, our certified organizers, because they believe as we do that in the abundance philosophy and there is enough for everyone to go around, they're like, great, I'm servicing my client in that do it with me uh, mentality, but they've started listening to the podcast and they wanna be in the Sunday Basket Club. And there is a way for you to get your clients inside of the Sunday Basket Club through Monique. There's a form we fill out and then they will be allowed to have access to the club as well. Is it practical to not personally do product fulfillment we don't have that option right now. Right now, you are, you are the one doing the product fulfillment. Now, if you don't want to earn the, um, if you don't want to order in wholesale pricing and then deliver that product to your people, I mean, you could send them to Organize 365 to order directly from us, which would get them directly into the Sunday Basket Club and all the things that we offer. And then also you deliver your workshop as an add-on. That's I mean, you could totally do that as well. Okay. Where's the free Sunday Basket e-course now? Is that like a private podcast delivered through emails to people that put in their email address on the website? So she wants to share it with people to find out about the Sunday Basket a little bit before she works with them. Okay. So the Sunday Basket podcast is on iTunes, Android, everywhere. We're on iHeartRadio, we're on radio.com. Like anywhere you can have podcasts, I have my podcast, like it's everywhere. So the Sunday Basket Podcast only has one episode. So you'd share that podcast, it has one episode and it's a longer episode and it explains everything about the Sunday Basket. And then, okay, it was a repeat. What were the three podcasts that you mentioned? The three podcasts are the Organized 365 Podcast, which has a bazillion episodes the Sunday Basket podcast, which has one episode. And the, um, you know, I'm realizing Instagram and Facebook probably can't hear you, Monique. And they're like, oh, now Lisa's just randomly talking to herself. I'll have to repeat the questions for you guys. And the third one is a uh, professional organizers think tank podcast. That's it. Those are the only questions people have? Yes, ma'am. Okay, wait, wait, there's one that's up here. <laughs> okay. Oh, they, um, 
it's the exchange rate that's holding her back. Juliet. Mm, mm, um, she's Canada. Yep, yeah, she's in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. So um, international shipping is a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know what to say other than international shipping is a nightmare. You can become a certified organizer. We actually already have a certified organizer in Australia. And uh, I think we already have a couple in Canada. Four or five in Canada. Four or five in Canada. Do we have any in the UK yet? No. I know of people thinking about it. The problem is shipping. And the problem is the exchange rate, the VAT tax, the uh, I don't know, pandemic tax, whatever. There, it's it's so expensive to um, ship internationally. So, you know, I can't control that. That's definitely something I can't control. Uh, here are some that are coming into me that you didn't see, Monique. Okay. Can we have a payment plan for the first payment? And that is no. I know $475 is a lot of money, but it's a business to business relationship. And so the first payment, there's no payment plan. When you're renewing, if you want to move it into a payment plan, that's fine. Um, another one I saw, do certified organizers make a profit on the Sunday basket systems they sell? So yes, but not a lot. I mean, it's a $97 product. So I think if you do it wholesale cost, which I haven't done lately, 65, your wholesale cost is $65. So if you sell it for 97, then yeah, you make $35. Again, I just really want to stress that buying organized 365 products wholesale and reselling them, you can make some money. It's going to take you a while to make $475 worth of money just by reselling our products from wholesale to retail. And I know that's how all franchises and all direct sales companies work, but I am a mathematician and I know that it takes a long time and a lot of Sunday basket sales for that to work. It can happen. I see this more as a partnership in the mission, vision, and values. Uh, if you make money selling the Sunday basket system, that's a bonus. But where you're going to make the majority of money is in having your own service or industry that you sell. Now, with the Sunday basket, that's just going to be the Sunday basket workshops. We're about to go into the additional certification, and that's where you can make some significant money in creating your own business in conjunction with Organize 365. All right, someone's asking if I'm going to open up the certification after this time. I do plan on closing it on October 12th for an undisclosed period of time. If I had to guess, it'd be at least nine months. I mean, through the entire winter pandemic season. Like, um, yeah, it would probably be an embrace of next year if I had to guess when we would open it again. Okay, can you hold paper organizing retreats as a certified Sunday basket organizer? No, you cannot. You need to be a paper organizing person. And that's what I'm going to go into next. Monique, did you see any other questions about the Sunday basket certification? Yes. How do you set up an LLC without fees? Mm -hmm. and Is there a way to? I, I think it's it was a small fee for Indiana. It just depends on your state. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can Google it. Um, when I did it with Joey, I just did it through, um, it wasn't Zip Recorder. What's the one? LegalZoom. I did mine and I did Joey's through LegalZoom. It was a couple hundred dollars, but I mean, I've, yeah, it's a business expense. Yeah, LegalZoom. She's typing it in. Any other questions? If you guys could tell, I'm really downplaying that. But he's like, would you sell it? Hurt? Like, I'm really downplaying the certification because I don't want you to sign up because of FOMO or, oh my gosh, what am I going to miss out on? Or what are they doing without me? It really is either you have a burning desire to partner with Organize 365 and you just believe in the mission, vision, and value, and you want to be the local representative um, for people in your community that are also following Organize 365, or you already have another business and this is just a logical thing to add on to what you're already doing. It's not for people who have never had a business before and want to see if um, they know that Lisa's going to become popular and so they want to make sure they were in on the ground floor and that they're going to make money. There's no, there's no people under you. There's no like, um, I don't know how to explain that, but it's not a, I don't want you to do it just because you're worried about what you won't have if you don't do it. I want you to do it because you're like, I've been thinking about this for a while. This makes total sense. People are already asking me. I'm already doing this anyway. And I think it'd be fun. And I've got the whole winter pandemic ahead of me. So this is going to be my project. Anything you want to say about that or any other questions you're seeing coming yeah, in, Monique? Um, 
Would it be possible to pay the appropriate fees and participate in both the POTT START program and the Sunday Basket Certification program? That would yes. be it. Yeah, a lot of people do both at the same time. Yep. Okay, and if international shipping is so difficult, then having the certified organizer doing the ordering and reselling could be marketed as a benefit. Yeah, but by the time we get the products to them, the cost is so high. Uh, and we are looking at distributors in different countries. We're just not a big enough con company yet. Like it's on the list, people. It's on the list. I just, yeah. I have it's an bad. LLC for another business. Will that work for this? Uh, yes. yes. And once I've had the same LLC for 14 years and I've run a ton of companies through it. What an LLC does is it's a limited liability company. My lawyers multiple would like me to say right now, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not giving legal advice. But from what I understand is an LLC, if you make it generic, it's a, it, it establishes a business connected to your social security number. And the money that you earn in an LLC runs through your regular tax return. Whereas now Organize 365 is a corporation that has its own EIN number, that has its own taxes, it has its own tax payment, and it has its own insurance and everything. Like Organize 365 is its own person. And then Lisa Woodruff and my LLC, this is all like one person. So an LLC is, is not difficult to create. And in the state of Ohio, I believe you pay a one-time fee and then you can have your LLC for lifetime. In some states, you have to pay a fee every single year. So every state is different. You'll just have to look that up. All I've got on this end. That's all you've got on this end. Okay, so now I don't wanna confuse anyone. If you're just interested in the certification program, you got the information you need, you're ready to move ahead, get off the live, get off the webinar, stop listening. Now I'm going to talk about how you add rocket fuel to that and how you truly partner with Organize 365 and become the go-to paper organizing expert in your area. And you're going to build a business and a brand behind what you are doing. So this is a $3,500 additional certification that we're going to talk about. You must be Sunday Basket certified first, and then you add this $3,500 on top. You can do it in three payments of $1,250. I think yes. that's what it is. Okay, yes. thank you, Monique. <laughs> Um, and then once you have this additional certification, this one you keep for a lifetime as long as you maintain this $475 licensing. Once you have the license and you add this one on, this one there are no recurring fees from, and I'm going to go through everything that is included in that. If you already know Organize 365 and you're familiar with the Sunday Basket and the 100-day program and then all access, <laughs> this is the all access version of the certification program. I'm going to tell you a ton of things that are in there, but in a couple of weeks, we're about to give these people a whole bunch more things. It's kind of like those of you in the 100 day program are waiting as am I for this app. And when the app comes out, there's no additional cost for the app. When I add things in, like everybody who was in the Sunday basket got the Sunday basket club, which used to be $99. There's no additional fee for the Sunday basket club. I prefer to sell a few memberships. And then as we have new things come in, we're just gonna add those things to the membership. So deal, we moved off of the certification. The certification is an annual thing that you pay over and over and over again. And now we're gonna to go to, what if you wanna go all access as a certified organizer? Monique, is everybody okay with this? Brenda just asked the 3,500 one time plus yep. 475 per year, correct, yes. Yep, yep, mm -hmm. yes, correct. Okay. <laughs> what does it cost to upgrade from all access to all paper certification? Sorry, I probably shouldn't have mentioned that. The 100-day program, all access, totally something different. The only two options here are the certification program and then all paper certification. Okay, so what is all paper certification? This came about exactly how all access came about inside of Organize 365. So we have the license and we have the Sunday basket. And if you remember from, I don't know, however long ago I started talking, a long time ago I started talking, that I started having certified organizers, of which Monique was one, who signed up before there even was a Sunday basket. That is how in Monique is, in case you're wondering. She joined something when there wasn't even a physical product there. So remember, I hired seven people in seven weeks, right? And then they took everything that had been in my head and they created it. And now when you go to the Organize 365 shop, what do you see? A lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Our warehouse is full of all kinds of stuff. We have work boxes, Sunday baskets, binders, the 100-day program, all the things. So 
um, after we had, after I realized how good the people were that I had hired in 2017 and how fast they could create things that were in my brain into real life things, I realized that just like I told you in my original story, but I had not figured out the Sunday basket was the first piece. And then I created the direct sales workbox 18 years ago for myself and then a workbox for my assistant. And then I created a reference binder and then all these different binders in my house. And over the last 18 years, all of these products that you see are things that I created in order to help my house function. They weren't like created like we sit around and think, what would be a great thing to organize or to create? No, these are all things that over the last 18 years, I actually physically produced to make my house run. And now we've turned them into a brand. So remember back to my creative memories days. If you're a Sunday basket workshop organizer, you got the Friday night workshop thing going just fine. But once a year, we would all go in the winter time to a cabin because none of the kids were at camp and we could rent the cabin and we would have a weekend away. And we always did it Martin Luther King weekends. So we had a nice three day long weekend and we did what we called winter wonderland. And we scrapbooked our little brains out all weekend long. A whole bunch of us did this, a lot of consultants. It was so fun. I thought, what if I talked all these people into a Sunday basket? What if I could get them to, to do a whole weekend retreat with me? I thought there's no way there's no way I'm going to be able to convince people to do this, but I wonder if I could. So I had my first uh, paper organizing retreat. I think it was two years ago. And I thought, what if people would drive to Westchester, Ohio and bring all their boxes and we'd have shredded and we'd recycle things on site and shred things on site. Would people come? And it was only six people, but they did come. And some drove 14 hours away to come and organize their paper. And you may say, six people, why did you pursue this? And I pursued this because I see a time coming where we will have paper organizing retreats everywhere. And honestly, thank goodness we already started it because when the pandemic happened, we've had so many virtual paper organizing retreats going on where people are at home, they still get that community, they're able to organize their paper. It's been wonderful. It's been a wonderful thing. And I realize now that they don't even have to drive all the way to Cincinnati. We can do it virtually, although it's gonna be even more fun when we could do it back in person again. So I had this vision of the Friday workshops, but I also had this vision of a weekend long retreat. Because as I always say in Organize 365, there are people that want to do a load of laundry every single day. They're going to come to your Friday retreat or your Friday workshop over and over and over again as they get their Sunday basket handled. And then there are people like me that jump into the deep end and then realize they don't know how to swim. And they're like, hey, I'm in the middle of the pool. Can somebody help me out? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do all my laundry on one day. I want to get my whole uh, filing cabinet done on one weekend. And so people would come and they would organize. And I have since done five paper organizing retreats. And I've had a couple of people come three times. And each time they just get a whole big chunk done. And then they are totally done with their paper organizing retreats. So I was like, that's great. I'll let certified organizers upgrade and be able to do this retreat certification. Well, Lisa, it doesn't take that long to learn the Sunday basket. And then you want to make a workbox and your binders and all these other things. And I was like, oh, that's not in the Sunday basket certification. So I need to add that into the certification. So, sorry, I forgot about the slides. <laughs> um, so I thought, yes, professional organizers who want to be paper organization experts or realtors that want to have um, quarterly paper organizing retreats for all of their homeowners that have listed their house with them and want to make their reference binders or um, chiropractors who want to offer this twice a year for all of their clients to come and bring all their medical paperwork and all their results and make medical binders or estate planners who want to offer this twice a year where people can come and bring all of the financial paperwork of their loved ones who have passed away and put this all in a financial binder so that they can expedite their estates. I see Every single workbox and binder that Organize 365 has is a multi-million dollar product line. I mean, I know this to be a fact. It's just going to take me 30 years to do it. Like, I want to partner with a real estate company. I want to partner with a financial planning company that's available around the United States to do this for estates. I want to partner with um, 
retirement home so that when you move in, you get a medical and a financial organizing binder and you go into a quarterly workshop where you and your kids come and take your filing cabinet from your house and you organize them into these binders so that you're ready if you should become ill or when you pass away, all the paperwork is already done so you can just enjoy the rest of your life. I want to partner on a national level with these big companies like AARP. Like these are my goals and dreams, but right now none of these people know that I exist. And I know that in this all paper certification, any of these industries can focus on one binder or one workshop and make back their certification right away. So I told you that the direct sales workbox is the first one that I created on my own. Our entire company, Organized 365, runs on the corporate workbox. And inside of this certification program, you get all five binders, the basic four plus the Warrior Mama binder. You get all eight workbox playbooks and all of the information on the dashboard unlocked. Um, and so here at Organize 365, every single employee gets a Sunday basket and a corporate work box when they start working for us. And I'll tell you in a minute about a new thing that we're coming out with next quarter that they will get every quarter as well. And I know that you can run a million dollar company on paper in a work box because that's how we do it. That's how we organize all of our products. We now have other companies that are reaching out to us that know that I do EOS and know that I do traction and they know that I run my corporations this way. And they say, we have a small office also, and we would like to implement the workbox inside of our office. And I'm creating a $10,000 package where they can hire me to have multiple workshops in order to do that. But you could do that too. Like if you're in a organization and you've got 20 employees inside of your team and you understand the Sunday basket and you understand the work box and you want the company to pay for this certification, then you can teach everybody how to do this. Like the possibilities of how you would use this certification are limitless. One of the things I have come to realize is that I can see products, product lines and ways to market all of these work boxes. Most people see one or two work boxes and one or two binders that they want to really dive deep in and they want to become the expert in. And that's more how you would use the certification. Also included in the certification, you're going to get a Hunter Green Sunday basket, two sets of 1.0s, a set of 2.0s to go with those work boxes. So you can make whatever work boxes you want to make. You get five catalogs. And then this is another thing I'm telling you, I, in my mind, I could see where this is 10 years from now. Remember when I told you there are three kinds of people, there's the do it myself and there's the do it with me and then there's do it for me people. Well, when I was in home organizing, I organized a lot of people's paper. And what I realized really quickly early on, and you can listen to this podcast called my first five figure month is over in the professional organizers think tank podcast. That month that I earned more than $10,000 in one month as a professional organizer, I didn't earn $10,000. I earned $17,000. I went from making $7,000 to $17,000 in one month. And the reason I was able to make that jump was because I was doing professional photo albums for people. And I was also doing exactly what I teach you to do inside of this certification program. Instead of organizing people's paper in their home, I had gone to the part where they sign a waiver and I got insurance for this and I got HIPAA certification and my whole team was HIPAA certified. And we would literally go with bankers boxes and we would take all of their files and we would bring them to my house. And then my team would come and work in my basement with me and we would sort all of their paper. And we got really, really good at being able to sort and organize people's paper without them being anywhere near us, signing a waiver, shredding what they didn't need and just returning back to the household what they needed. And you're like, okay, well, why would I want to do that? If you are a professional organizer and you want to scale and grow your business, this is the way to do it for so many reasons. And I go through it in detail inside of here, but for money reasons, one, you can literally be sorting paper at 10 o'clock at night with Netflix on because you're not at people's houses, you're at your own house. Number two, you can have assistants and people on your team organizing paper with you under your direction because you're not inside of a um, homeowner's home. Also, as you train people to sort paper, you will find, as I found on my team, we had somebody who was really good at Excel. So if we had to digitize something, she did it. There was someone else who was really good at all the tax paperwork, and we had her do that. And somebody that was really good at receipts. And, and so we would start to, oh, this box is full of this kind of paperwork and give that to that organizer who could do that faster. So inside of the program, I teach you how I have you charge $250 per banker's box 
go or have people mail them to you and people have mailed them to me, their banker's boxes, and you collect a payment for $250 per box, you fill out this form that we have that's very detailed, the client fills that out, sends it to you, signs a release, you organize their paperwork. If they give you permission, you can either send back their shredding for them to shred or you can shred it and then you send back just the files that they need. I have a really big idea about how to partner with everybody, everything but the house with this, but that's for like 10 years down the road, I think. So that's one. The second one is um, you are licensed to do retreats, which now can be done online. We were having them just done in Cincinnati. And we used to have you come to Cincinnati in order to do your retreat certification. Obviously, that can't happen right now. So when you become all paper certified, you will attend one of Monique's virtual paper organizing retreats, and that will give you that training as well. And we give you um, some of the little trinkety things and some of the cool organizers that we use at the retreats. That, those are surprises in your box as well. You get listed in the directory that we talked about for Sunday basket organizers, but you also get listed in the all paper certification directory. And we will advertise your next upcoming paper organizing retreat on the Organize 365 website under our events tab. Additionally, I love to set goals, to help you achieve your goals, to uh, think about what is possible and how to grow. And so we used to have a grow bonus day associated with our in-home or our in-person retreats. And now we give you all of those retrainings and that workbook in this program. And do you remember when I said that month that I made $17,000, I was doing photo albums? Well, you know that Organize 365 has come out with our photo organizing program. The photo organizing program is also unlocked for you when you join this certification. And you could see how I create albums, how I create Creative Memories albums. But also inside of your portal, I tell you why I charge $900 for every album that I do. And there are people out there looking for their albums to be done for them. There are not very many. I think I've maybe done 15 clients over the last 12 years, but I have never in my life had a client hire me to do one album. Clients always hire me to do three, six, 21 albums. So you could see how once you find a client that wants you to do their albums, it's not just $900, it's $2,700 or it's $27,000. And I show you how I get good at that and how you can have your team help you do that as well. The possibilities of how you use this uh, certification with Organized 365 are endless. This is where you can really Think about, Lisa has this paper organizing program, and this is how I'm gonna add on to that. So in November, we are coming out with a workbox planner. We are coming out with a workbox planning day. We are coming out with uh, red, 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 um, blue, green, purple, and pink binders, individual blue, green, purple, and pink slash pockets. We're coming out with all of the things that would allow you to take the products that we've created and make them more productive and make them more customized. So if you're like, well, I like this, but I've always wanted to do it this way, um, you will have a lot more ability to do that. Now this certification partners with Organize 365 and it's paper organizing products, not in our portable Sunday basket, not in the 100 day program, not in all access, not in um, you know some of those things. It's just the things that I mentioned, the binders, the work boxes, and then I give you the information for how to do the photos and how to do the paper boxes and the retreats. Um, and you do get a discount on the binders, right, Monique? There's a wholesale pricing on the binders and the work boxes. Correct. Correct. Okay, good. You guys, I'm getting further and further away from the details and more and more into the big picture. So, um, yeah, Holly's on here just finding out she didn't want to miss a thing. She's already been certified. She already has all of her retreats up on the website. And she's like, just wondering what, Lisa, what little bombs Lisa's going to drop. She's just here listening for the little bombs, isn't she, Monique? Yeah, she is. <laughs> so, so what questions are coming through about the complete all paper certification? No questions yet. No questions. Um, great. So no questions. I don't think I see any on Instagram, but you know, I'm terrible about that. A couple of you on Instagram have been watching this whole time. I've been watching you. No questions at all? Not that I can see. 
that means there's no questions and everybody's going to sign up. Okay, can you get all papers certified at any time? Yes, you once you sign up to be a, cert, a Sunday Basket certified organizer, you can immediately sign up directly after that to be a sort of um, all paper or at any time after that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Seeing some more come in here. Holly, what do you have to add? <laughs> Feel free to type it in. <laughs> Okay, so Holly is saying that Monique gives very generous trainings to the certified organizers, and that is true. Um, she has started, Monique has really taken the certified organizers, or as we call them, the Sunday Basket Sisters, under her wing, and that is all Monique does inside of the Organized 365 team. Her job is to just think about and love on the certified organizers. So she runs the Sunday Basket Club and the Friday Workbox Club that you may be a participant in as an Organized 365 member. But she also runs the Facebook group for certified organizers, their newsletter. She started a co-working group for them. Whenever she sees people are struggling, she goes in and she does a live training. Uh, she finds resources. She's always saying, Lisa, we need to do this for the certified organizers. Lisa, we need to do this for the certified organizers. Okay, somebody wants to see the slide for the creative memories again, please. Okay, the slide for the creative memories again. So there isn't a, really a slide for creative memories. It is just that um, that I use creative memories products. So if you want, you could sign up under me in, in creative memories, but creative memories is not a direct sales company like it used to be. Creative memories is more like a wholesale club almost, but you can sign up under in creative memories and you can represent their products. And when you see the program, the photo organizing program, I still recommend creative memories products. I think that they are the best. They are uh, the highest quality. They will last the longest. And then inside of the all paper certification, I show you how to charge $900 per album how to make the album that way, and then how to train your team to do that as well. If you're a professional organizer and you've been doing really great and you're killing it on your own and you haven't figured out how to add a team in, a lot of things in the all paper certification will really help you with how do you add team members in, not for your in-home organizing, but for photo and paper organizing. Okay, I think I answered that. So the all paper certification would be useful if you serve entrepreneurs. Oh yes, oh yes, it'll be useful if you serve entrepreneurs. If you are business minded and you're a service-based business and you're thinking, oh, Lisa hasn't done this with this portion of the organized 365 product line, rest assured, Lisa has what Lisa wants to do. Lisa wants to live in the paper version of all of these things. I know that there are digital ideas. I know that like, for example, the very first idea I had, and I still have yet to do it, is with the direct sales work box, you partner with any direct sales company out there. There are only three companies I can think of that have good organizational structure for their leaders and their consultants. All of the others do not, and everyone in direct sales knows it's true. Um, Direct sales companies are really good at coming up with a unique product and marketing it. They're not, and, and training their people, but they're not good at training their people how to stay organized and all the different things that you have in your business. So if I were a direct sales leader, I would buy this. I would get the direct sales. I would have all of my team doing those work boxes and I would work it all the way through that company. Like that's just what I do. I would speak on stage. I would do the regional conventions. I would just work this work box right into that company. Get amen about direct sales leaders using this. Yeah, if you want to double your money overnight, start using a workbox. That's all I have to say. How far apart are the payments spaced? They are one month apart, right, Monique? Yes. I think they're one month apart. 30 days increments. Yeah. Now I'm going to go back to the slide if you're in the webinar where I have Monique's information. Yes. So M. H-O-R-B at Organize365.com. You can email Monique and she will schedule a 10 minute call with you. I know it is a significant investment. I know that you're ready to do it, but you're thinking, yes, but just talk to Monique. And if it's not a good fit, she or I would tell you. Like, I don't want, I hope you feel that through this entire Q&A and this webinar that we've been doing. There's no urgency here. It's not like, if you don't sign up, I'm gonna do it. Like, I have done none of that. 
if it's the right time for you, this is how you want to spend your pandemic winter. If this makes sense to add to your business, I would love to partner with you. If not, let it go. It'll come back in the future sometime. It might've changed a little bit. I don't know. I changed my mind a lot. So I cannot promise it's going to be exactly the same way when we bring it back in nine months. But um, for all of the people that are in, it will only get better. Like I never take things away. I only add things. If you want to find more information, like you've been watching this live and you haven't been watching it on the website, just go to sundaybasketcertification.com. I can't remember the LLC over here is its own business. It has its own website which isn't as good as Organize365.com, let me tell you. But go over there. That's where all the information is. If you're on Organize365.com and you click to programs and you go to Sunday Basket Certification, it will redirect you over there. And then you can find out more information about the all paper certification inside of the shop at Organize365 or also on that Sunday Basket Certification. I believe there's a link uh, that goes out to that, doesn't it, Monique? Yes. Um... HIPAA certification, part of this, the HIPAA certification we use with the complete all paper because you will see a lot of private information and people want to be comfortable when they talk to you about their personal information. Yeah, so Monique just said, um, so we have all of our complete certified organizers, all paper certified organizers become HIPAA certified, which means that, you know, just like you go to the doctor and you sign that HIPAA paperwork, meaning that you're not going to share or release any information. We do that because, I mean, you guys, when you're taking other people's paperwork that you know has their bank account numbers, social security numbers, addresses, like there's a lot of liability in organizing paper. There is. And so we want to know that you know that you should not be sharing this information. And then it is also helpful for you as a professional organizer or someone who is dealing with other people's paper that you take that very seriously and know what the, the HIPAA rules are. So that is inside of the certification. You do need to have your HIPAA certification done before we list you on the website. Brenda's asking if this includes the new products that are coming out in November. There are no more physical products that are being given in the certification program but Monique and I did talk about a gift that we're going to give the organizers that they'll find out about on the 22nd. Sorry, Holly, you're going to have to wait. Um, yes, we guide you through how to get the HIPAA certification. Holly's saying it's easy and it's $35. It's not a big deal. Um, Juliet wants to know if it is international. I don't know if it's international, Monique. Is it? Do you know? I have no idea. We don't know. I'm sure Canadians have something of like HIPAA. When you go to the doctor's office and they make you sign something for privacy, yeah. what is that called? Is that a privacy um, rule that we follow in the U.S. <clears throat> okay, so Holly is saying, did you already talk about the partnerships with all paper certified organizers to host Sunday Basket Club and Workbox Club? That is so great. So Holly Perez is she's been on the Organize 365 podcast. She is a rock star. And so she has been a guest host of the Workbox Club, I believe, right, Monique? Has she also done the Sunday Basket Club? Yes, yeah, I believe she's done both. Yes. And she's running workshops and she's running um, retreats. And so as you get your feet under you and you start running retreats and you start running workshops and you really get the idea and you get the hang of this, then yes, you can reach out to Monique and she will get you scheduled to be... Um, a guest host in the Sunday Basket Club and the Workbox Club. And the reason why we're doing that, uh, because M Michelle and Monique are doing just a fine time as Organized 365 employees running those on their own. The reason why we're doing that is because I mentioned earlier that I believe in the abundance mentality. I believe there is plenty for everyone to go around. There is enough overstuffed filing cabinets for all of us and a hundred times us and a thousand times us all being paper organizers. Like there's plenty of paper. There's no reason to worry about it. But I also know that I have created through this amazing team that we've put together here over at Organize 365, some awesome starter products in getting your papers organized. The Sunday basket works. The binders work. You can ditch your filing cabinet with binders, totally works. The work boxes completely work. Do I know how a work box works in a real estate office? Kinda. Do I know how it works in some direct sales companies? Yes, all of them, no. And so I know that I'm the starting point. I know that in order for the paper organization industry to grow, 
you have something unique to bring to what we have already created. And together, we can impact the world so much more than just me holding on to these are just my things and it's only going to be my way. And it's only going to be like, no, like I know that you are going to add to the certification. You are going to take it to places I could not take it on my own. And together, we can make it go so much further. So I don't even remember what question I was answering about that. But I know that's why we have people do the Sunday Basket Club and the workshop work boxes. Because as good as Michelle and Monique are, we know that your unique spin being added to those is going to be a benefit for all of the organized 365 audience. There is not an insurance requirement. I personally have insurance on my business and I did when I was a professional organizer, but we do not regulate that because remember, this is a business to business partnership. It's not like you are a um, consultant or a contractor or anything of Organize 365, you have your own independent business. So whether or not you have insurance is your own, your own decision. Uh, are you still there, Monique? Yeah, Debbie says, <laughs> if I want to build a paper team of HIPAA certified people locally, I am basically a team lead certified by Organize 365. So um, if I want to build a paper team of HIPAA certified people locally, I am basically a team lead certified by Organize 365. I wouldn't say team lead. I would say whatever your business is. Let's say that you're the paper princesses. I know no one's ever going to pick that one. But you're the paper princesses with an organized, uh, licensed by organized, with an organized 365 license and this all paper certification. It's kind of like, I am a teacher that was, cert I got my certification through the state of Ohio and I got my degree from Miami University. It's kind of like your resume, I'm part of your resume, but I'm not your business entity and I'm not your, um, I'm not your boss. Yeah, boss. So like, I went to Miami University. I'm so excited. So Miami University in Ohio, people. There's a Miami University in Ohio. Miami University in Ohio, I got a teaching degree. And they are coming out with this mini NBA. I'm so excited. And it's free. I saw it on LinkedIn. I signed up for free. I get to go to Miami University starting on Monday for 12 weeks. And they're going to give me all these lectures. And you only have one week to do them. I'm so excited. And at the end, I'm going to get a certificate that sent, said that I get this mini MBA. <laughs> My husband's friends are like, and what does that do for you? I was like, nothing. But I can't wait to do it. I'm so excited. It does not give me an MBA. It, it, it does not give me anything, but because I went to Miami, I, in an education department, I'm going to get some of the best business training that Miami University offers for free. And then they're going to give me a little piece of paper that says that I did this class that they did. And I'm super excited about it. And it's really not going to impact you or anybody else who does Organize 365, but it's going to make me better. It's going to make me a better business owner. And I already know, I could just tell you right now. So mark my words when they actually do it in the spring. Miami University will come back to all of us who did the mini MBA and they're going to pitch us to actually do their true MBA. And I might, <laughs> I might, I love learning. I love growing. Even if I do the true paid for MBA, will it make any difference to you who are buying a Sunday basket? Absolutely not. Not at all, but it will make me a better business owner. It will increase my confidence. It will give me a new community outlet of people who are also getting a mini MBA at this time. It will give me something to do over the pandemic. So sometimes when you're looking at a certification or a license or the next course or class or book that you want to take, it's not always about what is this going to give me? It's who am I going to become as I go through and I do it. And that's how I look at life. Like, I sign up for all kinds of things. I'm reading a book last night and I said to Greg, I'm reading it till like midnight. My eyes are falling asleep. I was like, after I'd listened to like 12 podcasts, I was like, I love learning. I love learning. And it makes me a better podcaster, a better business owner, a better wife, a better mom, a better everything. But I don't necessarily use every single thing in a way where I'm like, that one thing I did there returned this much money over here. So just a closing note for, um, you gotta do something during the pandemic. And if this is something that you can afford and interests you and is something you wanna try, we'd love to have you do it. If not, don't worry about it. Registration closes on October 12th. We're gonna head, close this out. Anything else you wanted to say, Monique? Yeah, one more question. Where yeah, do you one more question. The licensing agreement? The contract? I uh, Brenda, are you talking about the contract? 
Yes. She says, yes. Yes. There is a contract that you sign after you sign up. So you'll need to contact Monique about that. M-H-O-R-B at organize365.com. All right. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me on Saturday. I kept meaning to stop this share so I could see you more, but I didn't. So that was super fun. I'm glad that you um, hung out with me on this Saturday. I know a lot of people are going to be watching this as a replay. I know this is not how anybody else would do a webinar. And if any of the entrepreneurs saw how I just ran this webinar, they would be like, oh my gosh, she didn't have a quick acting bonus. She didn't have a call to action. She told people they could not even do it. She stuttered. She told random stories. She went from slides. I didn't, I didn't do it the way you're supposed to do it. But I did do it the way that I feel is most authentic at this period of time. That if, if you're being called to take this action at this time, I think it's going to be a great winter. You're going to love hanging out with Monique. We've got a lot of surprises. Organize 365 is growing month over month over month. I have enough Sunday baskets arriving next week for 50 weeks of sales. Let me just tell you, my supply chain is not going to be broken. We are now stockpiling on corrugated boxes. <laughs> we have so much stuff in the warehouse. It is incredible because we know that a lot of people are going to want to get organized this winter. I feel that November, December, January are going to be huge organizing months. And I just want to be ready for it. And if you want to join us, we would love to have you join us. Have a great weekend, you guys. Bye.